invite yourself into this space. Find a comfortable seat wherever you are and lean back into the back of the chair or the cushion with your entire spine. Soften the shoulders. And begin to follow your breath into your body. Inhaling through the nose. Filling the chest and the abdomen. And then softly exhaling. Giving your muscles permission to soften and relax. Begin to inhale again. Allowing the breath to carry you. Softening the eyes and the jawline. Slowing yourself down and inviting your mind and your body to connect this morning. Allowing whatever comes up to come up. Think of it as an emotional shower. You know, when we go for, when we go take a shower after a long day's work, or even in the morning after we've slept, we go into the shower, we grab some soap, and we start to wash ourselves. And sometimes you'll notice dirt and sometimes you won't. Sometimes you'll notice irritation, sometimes you won't. But you come out feeling really, really clean. On a daily basis, we're taking on so many emotions. So like our body, we start feeling dirty, stiff, and sometimes uncomfortable. When that happens, if you've ever seen somebody that's really dirty, somebody that hasn't cared for themselves in a while, if they look in the mirror, they are unrecognizable to themselves and to everyone around them. And then a shower and a haircut will usually bring us back to being able to see ourselves for who we are. And sometimes when we do feel that dirt, we are unrecognizable. So by taking the time now to inhale, filling our body with this abundance and this clean, fresh air, new breaths of oxygen with good intention, we are allowing our bodies to flush out any thing that might be lingering any emotion which is movement motion in our body that might make us feel a sense of discomfort in our own skin and inviting ourselves back into our first home our body 
So take another inhale. This time I'd like you to smile. And just like wonderful smelling soap, you are gonna take a wonderful feeling. You are going to tap into something you would love to feel and feel it as you take another inhale. Allow your body to bask in that sense, that sensation, that good feeling. What good feelings and positivity does, it, it elevates our experience as a whole. So, yes, you could buy cheap soap. <laughs> cheap soap is always available. But if you want a luxurious experience, you pay a little bit more money for something that smells good and feels good. Because when things smell good and they feel good, it's worth everything. So just monitor as you exhale what is coming up for you, what is lifting off of you as you sink deeper into the connection with yourself, what can you let go of in this moment? Think of it as the emotional shower where we're just allowing the water, in our case, the oxygen It, that we are breathing in and breathing out. To lift, right? And remove some of the stuff that might have gotten stuck to us in the past 24 hours, in the past week, or in the timeline of our lifetime. When our body is unrecognizable to us, so is our soul. And when we reconnect with our body, we create flexibility internally and externally through relaxing into this space. Our soul and our spirit is more recognizable to us. We can breathe with ease and move through the world with ease. So on the next breath, I want you to be as generous as you can with yourself. Begin to inhale completely and fully Sometimes it can take a couple sips of air to get full. So as you inhale through your nose, soften the chin and tilt it slightly downward to create some space in the spine and the neck. Allow the shoulders to drop again and monitor if there was any space in your body that might have tensed up due to any emotions that rose or just a natural habit. So give yourselves permission to just soften again. And then begin to inhale that generous, generous breath. And when you get to the top of that breath, soften and then inhale some more and see where you actually are complete and full. When you get to the top of that breath, hold it. 
I want you to actually tangibly feel and know what abundance feels like. Because these aren't things that we can know in our head. We actually have to physically be able to gauge it in our body. And now you can softly begin to exhale through the nose for the same length of time as you inhaled. Melt into that space. Relax the shoulders again. Feel free to tuck the rib cage so you can take a hand, place it on the rib cage and tuck slightly. And like a balloon, you can deflate that space. And when you get to the bottom of that exhale, I want you to experience for a moment what it feels like to have clarity. What it feels like to declutter. What it feels like to feel clean. And now come back to your regular breath. your regular breathing pattern. So after we shower, we usually get dressed. You go into your closet, you choose something to wear, and that's what you're going to wear for the day, right? What you're wearing represents you. All right, so when we get dressed in the morning emotionally, we have to decide what we are going to wear emotionally for that day. You can choose your mood just like you choose an outfit. So take a moment. You know, this is free. These, these outfits don't cost any money. They should. They really should. But they don't. And choose something you'd like to feel. And on your next inhale, I want you to wear it. That sense of joy. The sense of contentment. The sense of possibility. The sense of freedom, the sense of safety, thank you, honey. The, the sense of femininity. What is it that you'd like to wear today? And every day you can choose something else. But here's the thing you can commit to wearing it the whole day. It doesn't have to change when somebody might irritate us or make us feel something specific. Just like you'd go out into your day and even if somebody would comment on something you're wearing or you might comment on what you're wearing as in, ugh, I don't look so good today. <laughs> you usually don't change. You usually stay in that outfit no matter what happens. When we choose our mood for the day, no matter what happens in the day, we don't have to change that outfit. If we choose to feel joy, if we choose to feel like we are enough, right? If I say today, I am enough, and that's the outfit I'm going to wear. If somebody else doesn't make me feel like enough, it doesn't mean I have to go home and change into something that is less than. 
I can stop for a moment, allow that insecurity to settle in, take a deep breath and come back to what I want to feel. And that is the feeling of being enough. So dress yourselves. Dress yourselves emotionally. Dress yourselves spiritually. Connect. Connect to your higher power. Connect to your creator. You can ask yourselves, what would I like my relationship with him to be like? And commit to it. So as you move through your day today, this is a reminder to move slow. Take steady steps. And commit to the outfit that you choose to wear. Fall in love with your day and fall in love with your experience. I'm so happy to be back. Thank you so much for having me.